Hi, so today we'll learn how to do this cool rolling text reveal in After Effects and that too just within 5 minutes. So let's get started. First of all, we'll create a new composition which is 1920 into 1080p at 24 frames per second. Once this is done, uh, we will need to create a background. For this tutorial, I'll skip that step and I'll just directly import one of the backgrounds that I already have made. So it will look something like this. Now what we need to do is start by adding our text. So for this tutorial, I will add the text rolling and we will just align it to the center of the composition. So if you're wondering what this text is or the font is Clash Grotesque font. Now what we'll do is pre-compose this. So right click on this layer, which says the text name and go to pre-compose and pre-compose this. Once you pre-compose this, open, open the composition. If the background shows up white and your text is not visible, please make sure that the background color is changed from here in the composition settings. You can change the background color and your text will be visible. Now, what do you need to do is click on this button right over here, which says region of interest. Click on this and then just select the part of the text. So the text should be visible with a little bit of padding on the sides. You don't want to go overboard with the padding just like this exactly as I show you. Once done, go to composition, click on crop comp to region of interest and this will this will happen, right? Go back to your original composition. And now since we have, I think seven characters, we will need seven layers. So you can press command D or control D on your keyboard and create seven layers, right? Yeah, seven layers. Now what we'll do, we need to name the layers. We always name our layers, guys. So this is our... I named all of them in small letters and that will bother me throughout the entire tutorial, but we'll not waste any more time and get started. So what we need to do is separate out each of the letters here. So all the composition has all the letters. We need only one letter per comp as per the naming of the layer, right? So we'll first click on R then click on this rectangle tool and while this layer is selected we will drag the rectangle tool over it so that it creates a mask right you need to be very precise with the sides and not very precise with the height because height be sure that you are selecting the height more than the composition height so the composition height is this i have selected more than that so we should be fine just make sure you do not select anything of the other letters inside the mask right so we'll do the same process for all the layers. Yeah, so we are done with this. All the masks are created. Each layer is now their own. Let's close everything up. Now the next step is to put an effect called offset on each of the layer. Uh, so we'll go to effects and presets. We'll select offset and just drag it onto the first layer, which is R for now. And uh, just click on this clock icon over here. After that, select this layer again, press U on your keyboard, and you should see this keyframe right over here, right? So what we'll do is we need our animation to go on for about three seconds. So we'll go three seconds in the timeline. We'll just drag this keyframe over here and then go back to the first keyframe and then add one keyframe and just have the value at 1000 okay so what will happen is we are planning to make the animation go alternative directions for example if the first one is going up the second one will go down and the third one and so on right so for the first one we are selecting thousand for the second one we will select minus 1000 and for the third one again thousand right so we'll what we'll do is basically copy this effect by pressing command C or control C and then just selecting all the layers and then pasting it right now what will happen is all the layers are pasted with the value 1000 now while you are not selecting any layer just hit U on a keyboard all the layers should pop up with the keyframes right over here we will just change the alternate layer values from 1000 to minus 1000 so this is 1000 this will be minus 1000 and this will be 1000 Sorry, I put minus 100. Yeah. Now uh, our effect should be working. Yes, it's working. But now it doesn't look very nice, right? So we need to easy ease them. 
So how do we do that? We select all the keyframes, press F9 on a keyboard and the sign will change from that to this, right? And after that, just go to this graph, make sure that speed graph is selected, select this, drag it all the way here, select this, drag it all the way here and your graph should look something like this. Now go back to your timeline, just hit play. Now see the magic happen. So what is happening is basically the animation is starting out fast according to the graph and then slowing down gradually. So there's no abrupt stop. Now the thing is that when it starts, it starts from somewhere in the middle and that doesn't look good, right? So hit the new on a keyboard, everything will go back to normal and we will add a new adjustment layer first and we will fix that. After adjusting, uh, adding the adjustment layer, just go and search for CC Jaws, drag it on the adjustment layer, right? Change the height value from 10% to zero. Change the completion to 100%. Now we'll see everything has disappeared. Why so? We did a mistake by adding this layer also below the adjustment layer. So how do we fix that? We have to pre-compose all of this, select all of the layers, leaving the background layer and then right click and click on pre-compose. Okay. Now it should work. Go inside this layer and now the adjustment layer, you have hit completion 100. Just keyframe it. Press the unit keyboard. You'll see the keyframe. Again, go maybe five frames in your timeline. Again, hit the clock icon change the value from 100 to 0 and it should work something like this if the animation is too fast you can just go ahead and drag it a little bit here and it looks abrupt because we have not easy used it select everything again press f9 on the keyboard and now it should be working fine so it will be a smooth transition now go back to our original composition so now what is happening is this is very basic how we Elevate it is by adding some zoom in or zoom out transition. First of all, I would like to add some drop shadow in this so that it looks a little more better. So we'll add this drop shadow. We'll change the shop. We'll increase the softness. We will increase the distance and we will then reduce the opacity, right? So this makes it look a little more above the background and not blend in with it. And after that, what we will do is have some scale property on that. So go to the first keyframe, hit S on a keyboard, scale will pop up, hit a keyframe here. So we go at around one second in the timeline and then hit this and we will go to the previous keyframe. What we'll do is add 150 here. Easy is this by clicking F9 on a keyboard. Go to the graph editor again and then just make the graph again look like the previous graph something like this i think this looks great but there is one thing that we need to do add in some motion blur on this one right go to effects and add force motion blur on this pre-composed layer make sure this is above everything else yes now change the four motion blur samples from 8 to 16 and you should be able to play it back it becomes a little heavy you see how it's looking a lot better now and what we can also do is animate the background a little bit so what we can do is animate the background by adding again scale again a scale property which will add some animation so add uh, the scale property go to two seconds in the timeline and then maybe change the scale value from 100 to 110 Leave it be, don't need to use it. It'll be doing slow animation and that'll look really cool. So yes, that was pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope this tutorial helped. This was a very simple tutorial and tried to explain it very simple words, how to do this cool looking animation for your projects. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Sajid. See you in the next one.